Our team coverage of yesterday's high winds continues now. We start with Marvis Herring. He's live in the middle of the largest set of power outages in Grand Rapids. Marvis? Well, good afternoon, Sue and Emily. There's plenty of debris out here. You can see some of the smaller pieces out here, but a huge, large pile of tree branches and limbs down from those powerful winds yesterday. And thousands of people across West Michigan are nearing that 24 hour mark without power. We're here near Iroquois and Seminole, where I just talked with some neighbors a few minutes ago. Some of them say that they were without power around 9 a.m. yesterday and they got some of it restored. Some of them here got it restored around 10 a.m. today. Others, I looked on the Consumer Energy website and they say they will not get uh, power back until Saturday night around 1130 p.m. That's according to that outage map on their website. Here's a look at the top five outage areas by county. Kent County is at the top of that list with about 19,000 outages. Ionia County shortly after that. We have a link at woodtv.com to get those updated numbers or a link to that outage map. And from outages to damages, check out this drone eight footage from Clarksville. You'll only see it here on Wood TV. It really can captures all of the angles of just how unforgiving yesterday's powerful winds really were. I was there this morning on daybreak and power outages. Those weren't really a problem in Clarksville, but the focus today there is cleaning up the mess that those high speed winds left. They tore off the roof of and took parts of that building with it. This building dates back to the 1890s and was last used as a library. It was set to be a restaurant opening next month. That's clearly put on hold right now, but still, like I mentioned, thousands of people all over the area still without power this afternoon. Some of them not expected to get that power back restored until Sunday night. Back to you. Okay, Marvis, thank you for that.